Hey, what's up, guys? Trust me, Mania here, and I can finally play in 1080p because I bought the GTX 560 off Craigslist for $100. And prime scenario of that. Well, first of all, I was looking up forums, and um, I noticed exactly that my CPU was bottlenecking my um, graphics card. And I finally decided to make a video about it because there's five billion of them, but it's kind of getting a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, that people still search it and so fine decided so that if I ever get asked on YouTube hey do you know if my uh, CPU is bottlenecking it I'll have a link to this video and I'll be able to explain exactly what happens and first of all when I play an engineer which I rarely do um, I make sure to kick butt with um, this class uh, the M4A1 something I think M1911 and the small or am I the Russian team? RPG, whatever. Um, but what happens is I can play on low, high, medium, just messed up the order, and ultra without the antennaizing or whatever it's called, and get the exact same FPS. And not like the FPS won't change. I'll be about 25 to 30, maybe even low 20s to 35 max. And that's how it is for the whole four settings. Like I, I just I don't I don't know what to say. I honestly do not know what to say. Um, so I have to get a new CPU, and that means that if so, let's just take you have to take an extreme graphical game to be able to know that if your CPU is bottlenecking. What bottlenecking means is it does not allow your CPU, I mean GPU, to perform at its best. So currently, your GPU should be up like 90% working its butt off to try and uh, you know play, make this game work at its best. And currently, it's barely learning. Mine's running at like 40%. That is not good. Oh, get pooped on. Um, so they shot first and they still died. Still, that's what it means. So the way you're gonna find, um, like, be able to know that if you're GPU is getting bottlenecked is one the FPS um, download fraps you don't have to record I think it's free now or you can torrent it I I'm pretty sure you can find it for free or DX store you can find it for free on Pirate Bay and you know check your FPS um, then second don't check your FPS if you have like if you just bought a brand new um, CPU and you you, you just want to see if it's bottom like don't don't do that if you bought a CPU in the last two years and if it wasn't like ten dollars you should be fine um, so as I was saying I, I was I'm kind of pissed cause now I have to get a new CPU and my parents don't want to upgrade the computer because it's getting kind of old it was crappy from the beginning and it's just it's a pain in the butt so just buy a good computer from the beginning make your own so you save money and you make the best computer because Dell is overpriced. That's all I gotta say. Dell is like completely overpriced. Um, why? Because they're selling a seven. Like I looked, a uh, I can match a four hundred dollar computer. Because you wanna buy from Dell Outlet. Don't buy from their actual site. Buy from Dell Outlet. Um, found this computer for four hundred dollars on the dot. Okay, fine. Three ninety nine. Four four hundred on the dot. I five. Three point. 2 gigahertz, like 3.4 boost, 8 gigs of RAM, I mean 6 gigs of RAM, Intel HD graphics, and that's pretty much all you need, and a terabyte of hard drive, so, you know, pretty much hook it up with the GTX 560, which I have, and then my power supply, it will kick the butt, so let's add up, that's around an extra 170 on that computer, and that adds up to about 600 and something, if my math is correct. No, it does not add up to 600, it adds up to 170, wow. Um, anyway, I said 100, I mean 570. Okay, check any computer from Dell for 570. It will not match. And it can play Battlefield 3 on high at around, it should 60 FPS if I had a good CPU. And the one I'm getting is going to be like $80. So it's gonna be like pretty crappy, not crappy, just enough to last me for Battlefield 4 until I can get a new, until I can get my new um, CPU. I mean, not my new CPU. I'm gonna. Uh, my parents promised me they're gonna buy me for Christmas a new computer. So it is what it is. But 
Anyway, download MSI Afterburner to check your GPU stats, everything else, and it will should work. Um, but the main best one is to see your FPS. That that tells a lot. Um, so, as I was saying, I hope you guys don't have a CPU bottleneck because that's that just sucks. The most the only time that can happen is pretty much um, when uh, you have a crappy. I mean, you pay so much money for the GPU and, and you just slack off on the CPU. You got you got to balance it. But my CPU just sucks. But that's what it is. That's pretty much it. Um, so let's hope I can get it. I, I am planning on getting it next week, so it's gonna be it's, a, it's gonna be a tri-core. I was gonna go for the quad core, but seriously, the tri-core has a a little bit higher clocker speed, and I don't need any more than that because I don't need to put a hundred dollars into the CPU. I'm gonna be playing for like what three more months on it, so spending like a hundred dollars for three more months, it's it's kind of dumb, in my opinion. So I hope this video helps some people out there because I'm tired of going on like Tom's Hardware and everyone's like well this bottleneck oh my god you know how much if the CPU is expensive and you're paying money this is a bullshit death but if you're paying a ton of money for a CPU then you will not so don't do not do that but the only way it's going to bottleneck if you go cheap with like $100 you should be spending at least 150 for there to be absolutely no bottleneck the main reason I can go with the $80 one is because it came out the same year as the graphic card and it should not bottleneck it. Um, so I hope that ha I hope that stays true and my uh, computer will be compatible with it. If not, I am absolutely screwed for Battlefield 4 for about like 4 months. So let's hope that does not happen. Let's really hope that. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching videos coming to an end I had to quit this due to the fact of my dad coming down and he does not want to see me play video games so anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you guys as I always say have a wonderful day and I'm praying for you not to have a CPU bottleneck <laughs> if you build your own computer um, so goodbye and again have a wonderful day